Good morning, Pumpkin! Citizens of Earth is a cartoonish comedy role-playing game developed by Eden Industries and produced by Industry Standard and Excellence, Atlas. You play as the newly elected Vice President of Earth, being woken up by your mother in order to take on the day and begin your journey as second in command. It's tough being Vice President of the world. The game is a pretty basic RPG, but with a slight twist. The story follows the player-controlled VP as he bumbles through various adventures, attempting to gain the respect of his peers. News, Mr. President! I'm back! Fantastic! Didn't even know you were gone. And of course, save the world. Uh-oh! While you do mainly control the egotistical and oblivious VP throughout the game, he never rolls up his sleeves for a fight. In fact, he leaves that dirty work for anyone gullible or loyal enough to join his team. In the beginning of the game, your team consists of your little brother, and of course, mom. Where you boys are lost without your mother, huh? But as the game progresses, you gain additional support from other citizens you convince to join your team. This allows the game to offer new abilities and attacks for the player to experiment with and allows for varied gameplay and fresh faces and dialogue. But sadly, it does come with a downfall. Each new character must be leveled separately, which turns the game into a grind. You can enroll your citizens into school for easy fight-free experience, but it costs a lot of in-game money. And even worse, it will lock the use of that character for a specific amount of time, depending on how intense the study session is. If the game looks familiar, it probably should. The game is a giant spoof on Earthbound, but instead of traversing a strange world of aliens and allegories, you play in a world of political satire and innuendo. The game's dialogue is well written and actually pretty funny at times, with a competent cast of voice actors that brings just enough B-movie charm to each character. Yo, Eagle Man, I'm the Vice President of the World. I don't need appointments. Oh, sorry, I didn't recognize you. The game is split into two main parts. Like most RPGs, you battle enemies to gain experience, and you traverse the world to progress the plot. Citizens of Earth does the same thing, playing it safe with only a couple of unique concepts. Each encounter has you, the Vice President, shouting commands to his constituents, each having their own abilities and perks. Mom can offer a maternal hug to heal a character of their injuries, or scold an enemy to lower their defenses. The mascot cheers your team on, boosting the amount of experience gained each battle. And the bodybuilder, of course, provides himself with helpful buffs to strengthen his beefy attacks. The variety of recruits is huge, hitting a total of 40 playable characters. The battle system is quite fun, despite being a little simplistic. A standard fare of attack moves, abilities, and item use with various status ailments and character buffs. Everything from being poisoned by bees and bubbles, to little brother wrestling a living pile of leaves to the ground. The exploration of the game's world can be fun, especially since it's filled with goofy characters just waiting to be talked to. You can even speak with the citizens of the game to directly affect the world. Speak with the weather lady to affect the weather, the scientists to change what time it is, or speak with the mascot to increase the difficulty of the game. The game's overworld is full of vibrant locales, which are cool to explore, but it's hard to actually find where you're supposed to be going at times. The game provides little guidance towards where you are actually supposed to be going in order to progress the story, or even find where a side quest is. Several times I found myself aimlessly wandering the map, not knowing where I was supposed to go. This brings me to the game's faults. And yes, it sadly has quite a few. I'm walking away now before the lawsuits come in. The difficulty is very sporadic, and almost unbearably difficult at times. The game is stocked full with far too many boring encounters. The streets, and almost every location in the game, is full of enemies. The game's world actually becomes hard to traverse, when every couple of seconds a crazed police officer or stop sign with legs pops out and attacks you. Never expect this. this becomes incredibly irritating when coupled with the lack of direction the game has. The game suffers from pacing issues due to this lack of direction. 
confusion on where your character is and where they should be slows the game down to a crawl, forcing the player to retrace their steps across several maps in order to hopefully find a spot where the story can continue to progress. And to top it off, the game also suffers from technical issues. In several moments, the game experienced screen tearing, and even times where it flat out crashed. Citizens of Earth tries its hardest to be fun, and almost succeeds with its funny dialogue and silly characters, but its slow pacing, technical issues, and barrage of far too many enemies makes it an average RPG at best. If you're a fan of political satire, then this role-playing game might be for you. But for the rest of us, it'd be more enjoyable to just dust off and plug in our old copy of Earthbound. Citizens of Earth is currently available on Steam and PlayStation 4 for $15. Wow. I didn't realize you were an actual journalist. Those stories sound a little over my head. Trust me, you'll want your face in these pictures. Local flavor kind of stuff.